It's the middle of March. It's freezing here in Aberdeen. There's been snow. This is hot off the press. You're the first people to see this. This is a new addition to the Ballater Gallery, and this is our viewing room. The viewing room, you can't quite see the etching in the glass. Rather classy, I would say. Uh, here we are in Spa Street, right round the corner from the famous Aberdeen Art Gallery and right behind His Majesty's Theatre in Spa Street in Aberdeen. So um, pop in and see what we're doing here. OK, well, it's minus three out there, so welcome back into the warmth of the viewing room of the Ballater Gallery here in Spa Street in Aberdeen. How about look down at that painting there for a minute, Tom, before I wander around here. Um, so the viewing room, you're probably thinking, what on earth is this all about? What's he been up to now? So we have thought long and hard about this because we needed more storage. We have a huge customer base who find it a lot easier to come to Aberdeen than they do to Ballater. So that's whether or not you're in Dundee or you're in Peterhead or Fraserborough or Inverness, it's maybe, maybe easier for you to come to here. But the important thing is, and I'm standing here in front of four new David Smith paintings, which we've just uh, hung up, um, landscapes and um, harbour scenes and things, and I think you'd have to agree that they look great. But, and I keep repeating myself, this is not a gallery, it's an extra space, and we will meet you by appointment if you just get in touch with info at .uk, um, between John, Marion, myself, Helen, we're all in Aberdeen all the time, Fiona not so much, but we can meet you here and talk to you about painting. We can bring them in from Ballater. That's half the idea. If you're looking at this messy table as we wander around, this is a short video little update. This messy table isn't because I've been absolutely stuffing myself with a fried breakfast. This is because earlier this morning we had the excitement of Colin Fraser, our new signing over from his home in Sweden, to launch a little video of his paintings, which are here. They are utterly incredible. And there is a separate video. I'm not going to go on and on and on about Colin's paintings, but they are utterly glorious still life and the one of the window with the shirt. The reason I'm not going on, because you'll be able to see all these paintings and the interview with him about his incredible technique using egg tempera. Three, uh, three new paintings, 17,000 each and 13,000 for the smaller one. Tom, at a different price level, but still vibrant and beautiful are these three paintings by Stanley Bird, who manages to get modern twists on wildlife and animals with great colours, often with wallpapers and using acrylics. So we've hung a few. We'll rotate paintings here all the time. There's a cracking big classic by Glenn Schuller of rooftops at Chamonix and Provence, which is an oil and canvas as well. As I say, I know that I sometimes get a crit criticism for rushing around, but this is really just to tell you about this facility. A huge schooler we've popped in here about five feet by five feet of St. Monan's Harbour. Talking about schoolers, there's another one of France. And we, as I keep saying, we will rotate above it, Tom, a cracking an orum, garden still life with an orange stool, and then moving over an absolutely gorgeous painting of lupins, which Anne painted, I think, for the Chelsea Flower Show. One of our artists who sells lots of paintings um, now here's an example of what we do here, Alison Cowan. We had eight new paintings by Alison Cowan and seven are away to the gallery in Ballater. But we kept this one here because a lady particularly wants to see it. So now that we're running, she can come in this week to see it in Aberdeen. If you turn around there for a second, Tom, this painting hasn't been to Ballater by David Schofield. Evening night at light at Gallanach. And doesn't it look great on the cream walls? So I'm going to finish off here. It's just a short video. Um, unfortunately, the, the etching at the window is um, difficult for Tom to film um, of. But just glancing over here at this superb Marion Drummond of um, sunflowers with deep, rich colours, which I think would look great in every, any afternoon. So anyway, I'm stopping talking about paintings. It's to tell you the viewing room, Spa Street in Aberdeen, not really much point in coming down to see it if you don't have an appointment, because you won't get in. But get in touch with us at info at Ballater Gallery. It's 
around the corner from Aberdeen Art Gallery. So if you're wanting to go in to see some fabulous things at the incredible Aberdeen Art Gallery, we're literally 10 minutes around the corner. And equally, we're just round, right behind um, His Majesty's Theatre beside the Denburn Car Park. So it's very easy to come and see here. Hopefully it's a facility that you'll enjoy and use. And um, anyway, you know where you can get in touch with us. But the viewing room, the viewing room now available for use by getting in touch with me at info at Hope you like it.